Right, gang so uh back on reverie uh weather is starting to get nice uh, here in florida and yeah, we have a nice breeze so i'm gonna take advantage of any window i can get of nice weather and try to get at least one more project done it's the, the only way this this sucker is going to be completed and um i'm tired of doing work and i want to get sailing so I'm gonna wrap up uh, the projects I have left quickly so I can get going. So today, uh, first off, I'm gonna put a, a little tarp just to get a little more shade over Reverie. And uh, then I'm gonna get working on uh, replacing the, the shower track on the head. Um, I couldn't find the, the rollers that would fit the track that I had, so I just ordered a new track. As I said, I'm not gonna keep wasting time trying to find stuff. If I cannot find it quickly, I'm replacing it. So, uh, here we go. All right. Uh, this is called a, a Nesso or Niso. And it's kind of like a, a stretchy material. And uh, actually works really good. It has a couple of poles. You're supposed to put it on the beach. Uh, you see those bags there, you just fill them up with sand. And then you have two poles to kind of give it height, so you you put it on an angle. Uh, it comes in that little handy dandy bag, uh, but it makes a kind of nice um, shade uh, for the boat. So we'll see how it it holds up when the wind hits it. Uh, but for now, you know, it provides some nice shade over the companionway, and uh, we can use it. So that's that's cool. So we'll get working on the rest. So the way this is all in place is you have this little bracket uh, that slide on top of the track. You can see there's a little track in here. That's for these. And then there's a the track for the roller that holds your shower curtain. So these are screwed into the liner with a couple of screws. So what I'm going to do is remove them. There's one in each corner. Uh, two here because that's the open section. Uh, whoops this is for the old light that I took out I'm gonna replace that as well hopefully today and two more over here so I'm gonna take this out and use the new track which is a, a flexible tracks right here uh, get this from Amazon and I'm gonna do the shape and cut the length this is longer than what I need um, I may put uh, a, a piece of this in front of the the board light uh, so I can slide that, that curtain in. And it comes with everything you need. Uh, it has uh, the mounting for horizontal or vertical. It has all the little um, rollers for the tracks. It has the ends for the, the track itself. And then you have all of the hooks uh, to hang your curtain. So I'm gonna, gonna get working removing and then we'll shape, cut, and reinstall. Trying to be careful that I don't strip or break the screws. Uh, with any luck, I'll be able to reuse the holes and not have to deal with a whole bunch of drilling and patching. And the hard part of being a one-man show is holding things as you remove them. <laughs> so you can see the little tracks that hold uh, the aluminum frame um, up on the ceiling. First thing we have to do is uh, straighten up the track. So what they say is to lay down on a flat surface and put some heavy items on top let it sit for 24 hours so while that's uh, straining it up i'm going to start mounting the ceiling brackets and i can reuse one of the holes um, 
from the old brackets, but I'm going to have to drill um, a hole for the new one uh, because the, the holes are wider. So you can see it there. Um, but good news is um, I should be able to just use one of the holes and drill the second one. And these are kind of nice because they have a slider. So they snap into place. You can see it there. And the little slider you can pull back to remove it. So, so it's going to be a, you know, you don't have to take the bracket down to take the whole thing down like I had to do with the aluminum one. You can just open the, the clip and then just slide the, the track down. So that should be pretty, pretty neat. All right. Um, so I, I laid the whole track down flat uh, first and let it kind of lose a lot of the curve. And then what I decided to do is use the old track as a template um, to bend and uh, kind of cut the length uh, that I'm going to use in the head. So what I did is I used the track and then I just taped the two of them together uh, on the curves pretty much all the way around. And I'm going to let it sit for about an hour because that should help um, the new plastic track. The, the plastic has an aluminum track inside. So what this is doing is just um, kind of giving it some memory to hold the shape. So once I let it sit for a couple hours, um, I'm going to come back and um, then I'm going to uh, mount the ceiling brackets and mount the track. All right, we got our track installed and the curtain goes all the way around. space for our shower items and we put in our kind of soap shampoo dispenser so kind of keep having to have a bunch of bottles laying around the last thing I got to do here is, is to reinstall the, the light and we're all good so the, it was a little tricky I had to play because this is not a flat surface in the sense that it's at an angle um, I had to play with the positioning of the brackets. So on a couple of places, I was able to reuse some of the holes from the old track, uh, but I ended up having to move it uh, to create a better angle. So this was as close to the top as possible. The other thing to notice is that we have our, our exhaust here. So when you're taking a shower, any steam will, will have a place uh, to go, to go to the outside. So that's... Um, that's our shower. The curtain is a little bit longer. In order to find something that would go all the way around, I had to get a little bit longer shower curtain, but no big deal. What I'll probably do is um, I'll probably measure and then sew the bottom up so it's not completely uh, sitting on the floor. But other than that, uh, just little details to, to deal with later. Um, everything looks good. So we now have a Pretty much a complete bathroom. Then when we're not in shower mode, we just roll it all back, tuck it away in the corner, and that's it. All right, so this is our completed uh, head project. Uh, we have a light that's uh, inside of the shower and it's waterproof. Uh, we have a little switch right here for it. We have our shower, new shower curtain, a new shower rod, our soap dispenser, a new uh, shower head and spigot. And we're pretty much 100% uh, done with the head. So this part of Reverie is complete and one uh, a whole number of things checked off the list. So with that, I'm going to wrap this episode up. Uh, if you like our videos, please uh, click below and subscribe to our channel. We're sharing uh, all the projects that we're doing here on Reverie. Hopefully this will help you uh, with yours. And uh, next episode is finishing up the box for our uh, induction cooktop. So that's a pretty interesting one. Uh, we we got to figure out how to start Gimbal uh, from scratch. So that should be uh, pretty fun to watch. So thank you so much for watching. 
Uh, and if you have any questions, please post them on the uh, comment section on the video below. I respond to every, pretty much every comment. And uh, we hope to see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching.